it's time for good energy and I'm Dr. Julie and welcome to Body Fill Day 191. We are talking about clothes in the senses and today is day three and we're talking about the kinesthetic sense. Now, the kinesthetic sense is the sense of movement and where your joints are in space. So we're gonna talk about the good and the bad. All right, let's start with our basics. Take a deep breath in. And release. Next breath, you're gonna expand in the belly, expand in the chest, expand in the sinuses and tuck your tail. Take a deep breath in. and release and because we're talking about clothes of course we're going to breathe into wherever in your clothes you're kind of feeling it today so take a deep breath in and release all right so today is day three of clothes and the senses and we're seeing how clothes can contribute to our energy to heal because remember energy to heal equals good energy and minus stressors and we know that clothes can be stressors but they can also be good energy in so today we're going to talk about how clothes can activate help out and distress the kinesthetic sense so remember the kinesthetic sense is the stretch, is the motion, is the, is the movement of joints in your body. So joints and muscles in your body and all of those send sensory signals up to your head. And um, we're gonna start with the uh, stressor because that's kind of the most obvious one. Um, when you wear clothes that uh, styles that impede motion your brain does send a signal back so i think i i am not entirely sure if i wore a one of the off the shoulder strapless prom dresses i think i did i think i had at least one that where it had the little band that was attached to the the bodice and just this little band which meant that i could go to about here without having to haul my dress all the way up and so even subtle things like that you can't move your shoulders beyond this point is a stressor because you're used to moving and your full range of motion if you have a uniform if you have a piece of clothing that you do not use your full range of motion in then your body will say hey you don't use all of that so I'm not going to invest the time and energy to make sure that those muscles actually do go that same range of motion. So consider uh, the difference between um, uh, police officers that wear the belt and police officers that wear a vest and consider the different types of vests where they have all their equipment on it. If they have, now, uh, from a chiropractic standpoint, if you're wondering vests versus belts, chiropractic standpoint is that we like vests better because it distributes this 35 pounds of weight plus 35 plus pounds of weight across a larger area rather than putting it just on the waist which then could cause issues with posture however if your vest isn't designed correctly and you don't have full range of motion of your shoulders and that's what you're wearing all the time then you are going to lose motion not because your brain is sending feedback signals, well, your brain is sending feedback signals, but because you don't move the way you normally would with that clothing on. So think about your clothes in terms of range of motion. Do I have full range of motion? Pencil skirts, fantastic things. Um, but pencil skirts that are tailored, where you can only do little itty bitty steps, are going to send a stressor signal back up to the brain and say, we don't like this. So check your wardrobe and make sure that you have the range of motion that you want. Now, clothes can also provide kinesthetic good energy in. Um, I happen to have a pair of these. These are compression calf, they're compression calf uh, socks. So just half socks. Um, 
that I wore during my second pregnancy because the little squirt was sitting on one of my main veins and uh, backed things up. But I found out that when I wore these, when I wore these, because they are compression, they would allow my muscles to move a little bit more fluidly and I was less likely to get cramps at night, which are killers. Cramps in the foot and cramps in the calf at night are very obnoxious. Now there are other types of smart clothing out there. I really wanted to find my husband's smart running tights and I couldn't for the life of me figure out where they were in the house. Um, smart running tights have technology where the seams and the um, fabrics are designed to, uh, I'm gonna think about this, so you twist out to twist in. They're designed to help the quads and the calves and everything twist in because twisting in is our best posture for support um, because that support twists the legs in. Likewise, you want to twist the shoulders out for support rather than in. You want to twist shoulders, shoulder blades should be twisted out. Um, I'm not sure the extent to which they're smart shirts that do that, but I'm sure somebody's done it because the spiraling energy of the body in the, in the limbs is kinesthetic because it's where your muscles and joints are in space. And when they are spiraling in the right direction, they give you good energy in. So whether it's compressions, compression socks, compression half socks, um, compression tights do the same thing. The concept, of course, is that they push, help you push fluid up, but that is a kinesthetic event. That is a kinesthetic event. It helps squeeze the muscles a little bit tighter so that they can do their job of pushing fluid up and out of the legs. And so compression, anything, is really designed, most cases, um, some of it is for a little bit of vanity, but most cases is designed to support the muscles and joints so that you have better range of motion. Other clothing that's designed for the kinesthetic component. Um, a lot of the copper fitted things are designed. Um, I haven't tried them, so I can't tell you yes or no on any of it. Um, but a lot of people swear by the copper fit uh, gloves or shoulder harnesses or knee braces because they too provide actual extra additional support and then the copper supposedly provides an additional, well, it provides an additional frequency because it is a different frequency. But whether or not it's healing is, you know, us. half a dozen people this way, six people the other way, it's hard to tell. Everybody's different. So the point is, is that clothes can be both good energy and, and stressors. And your goal, of course, is to look for clothes that have the best good energy in. If you have clothes that are stressors, understand that they have a time limit on them. They sort of have the Cinderella curse. Uh, you can't wear them beyond a certain amount of time or else your body is going to start to reduce its energy to heal. So pay attention to those things. Pay attention to how clothes fit later on. Um, random but related story. My mother, whenever we would go um, shopping for uh, perfume, we would always spray it on ourselves and then we would go walk around for about two hours. And then we'd check and see how does it smell now? Because the scent that you carry with you over time is not the same as the scent when it's immediately put on your body because it takes time to combine with your body chemistry before you actually get the ultimate version of whatever you are going to smell like with that particular perfume on you. And so um, you can kind of consider the same thing with clothes. Obviously you can't do that with clothes, but the clothes that you own, you can decide whether or not they are long-term wearing or they are clothes that are cursed by Cinderella. Well, cursed by Cinderella's fairy godmother, I guess, um, that you could only wear until midnight from like six until midnight. Um, so it, look at your closet that way and honor that. They may be some of the coolest things like my, like my prom dress that had the cuff sleeves and you know, was off the shoulder. 
that's a fantastic look for me. I know I have great shoulders. However, <laughs> there is there is a range of motion thing that if I were to wear that type of outfit all day, I would alter the physiology, the neurology, and essentially the kinesiology of my system. So take a look at your closet, figure out what has long-term wear, what doesn't, figure out what's impinging your range of motion, and what supports you where you need it. All right, let's finish this off. Take a deep breath in. And release. All right, have a great day. Take care.